going on guys this is your motivation guy that's right your friend the one and only keith allen i am back you know i'm your number one fan right i'm rooting for you guys to be great not only in this game but also in life let me ask you this question what are you waiting for because greatness is waiting for you connect to me on my insta guys at your motivation guy all right in this video we're going to be doing something a little different you know how OP the mythic weapons are and how big of an advantage they give. So in this video, we're going to be showing you how the best ways to land and secure these POIs so you can just secure the mythic weapons. This guide is going to be good in arena cash cups and really, really any mode, to be honest with you. The only downside is that, you know, usually mythic spots are tougher to secure in scrims. OK, but if you master the drop, oh my goodness, you're going to have a mythic gun every single time. Who wants that? I know I do. All right, guys, be sure to like and subscribe today and quickly leave a comment telling me which of the new landing spots is your favorite so far. All right, guys, bunch of crunch army. Where you at? Here we go. It's time to sit back. Come on, relax and grab some of my favorite candy. Everybody scream this out together. It's that bunch of crunch. Now let's go. Let's get this going. OK, so to start off, we got the four Tilla. OK, over here and I mean like right here, the boss is named Ocean and she's packing the mythic burst rifle and a bottomless chug jug. There are quite a few great loot paths at this zone, but we're going to focus on one that's safe, gives a fair amount of mats, and still gets you a truckload of loot. All right, so our landing spot is going to be the turbine on the Southwest Island. Okay, so make sure that you're high enough so that you can land and just get the chest up here. After that, use the zip line to immediately drop straight down. Got it? Break through this red shed for another chest. Now, you don't have to do this, but once you pick that up, I suggest that you just farm these short metal fences for some quick mats. These fences are very efficient and can really get you the mats that you need just in case. Okay, but straight ahead of the shed that you just looted is a motorhome that you can just destroy for another chest. And after you get that, don't go any further, but instead look right and place a ramp to jump into this window for, <laughs> you guessed it, another chest. Yeah, it's crazy. Once you get the chest, destroy the blue wall and you're gonna see another blue wall in front of you. Smash through that for two more chests, all right? Break through the next blue wall in front of you, then jump across to the next building and into the window for another chest. Okay, so if you want to keep looting, you can continue ease for a couple more chests. But at this point, your loadout should be pretty strong enough for you just to fight players and really just start looking for the boss. As for where Ocean spawns, we usually see her swimming in one of these few places. Underneath the chopper spawn on the West Island rooftop or just hanging around in the middle buildings. It's honestly kind of hard to really find her here sometimes since it's just so cluttered. But either way, hey, check these spots. And if you still haven't found her, check other spots and just try to listen for a call out. All the bosses have their own distinct voices, so if you could just pay attention, you can find it that way. And if you're looking for more help winning games in Season 3, guys, check out ProGuys.com. I mean, we have courses, professional coaches, meta discussion, live classes, man, and, and really just all waiting to help you get those dubs you need. Check us out in the description. Some kids got the grappling just dip piping. I know they're fine. Underwater and just like crazy, for example. Yeah, no, I don't know why you do it. Yeah, there's a reboot button in the water that you can't like, you can't use it. But we gotta move on. Next up is the authority. And just like with the last location, our plan is to just loot up first, then either eliminate real players or look for the boss. But at the authority, Jules is the head honcho over here. She drops a mythic drum gun, glider gun, and of course, access to the vault. Now, this is a place, you know, that's pretty much just a remodeled agency. So a lot of the same chests and looting strategies are still in place from last season. And my favorite has always been to start from the basement. <laughs> it's also the favorite of a lot of our pro guy coaches who, by the way, can just help you guys, you know, find your own loot path for any spot on the map you need. So bad. Oh my god, yes, a fing good shotgun. Let's go. Why is this guy just flying? But anyways, all right, on to the east half of the building. There is a short tunnel that you can access from both the north and south. The plan is really to try and have a low enough drop so that you're barely touching down this tunnel. But when you do land, first head into the door and look to your left for a floor loot that sometimes spawns. Pick it up, whatever's here, then just keep going forward to get your first chest, all right? The one visible behind the vent. Break through the little fan door right here and right away, place a ramp to destroy the upper vents next to you for another chest. Okay, gather the rest of the floor loot, go to the end of the hall and on your left, 
where the turret is, you want to place a wall ASAP, all right? Once you've got that wall down, edit through while just keeping out of the turret's line of sight. If it notices you, back up and just try again. But once you've made it in, okay, drink any minis you might have, then just break up the slurp kegs and then get the chest. Okay, once you've gotten that, turn around and just break through the locked door to loot another chest. Then go up two floors directly from here for another. And if you go through the little vent hole at the top, there'll be your six chests waiting for you on the table. If you're lucky and no one's like looted it yet, you should hear a seventh chest close just behind a wall and up another floor. But at this point, you should be more than ready to start fighting for the vault key. If you're not, you can always just head back outside, disguise yourself, and just start opening the locked henchman chest, starting from the one you left in the basement, all right? As for where you can find the boss Jules, most of the time, she's just hanging out in the main foyer. But in some games, she's actually gonna roam outside or even in the jail. There's really, really no special method to search for her. Again, just try to listen for a call out and, and just narrow down her location. All right, guys, so that wraps up this spot. But this last one, well, this is the one that you want to be prepared for, all right? Bro, what? Why is there P90s laying on the ground, bro? Cabbage? Coconuts? Peppers? Yo, backpack full? Whoa, 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 whoa. Caddy Corner is a crazy, crazy spot, guys. Compared to the other two, this mythic POI is a whole lot more intimate. There really isn't much loot, and sometimes it kind of feels like you're just getting chased down by henchmen nonstop. But hey, there's two mythics here, all right? The charge shotgun and shockwave launcher are totally worth it. This thing's insane. This is like the best mobility, bro. Yeah, rotating? Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> So, Caddy Corner consists of two main sections, a factory to the north and a gas station to the south. We're gonna be landing on the north side since you can just sort of secure the vault there. Plus, you know, really in terms of loot, there really isn't too much the gas station side has really going for it. Okay, so right away, you need something to defend yourself at this spot, all right? So as you glide in, the first thing that you should do is just look for a weapon, either one on top of the factory or one on top of the RV. Okay, so if you land on the factory, you can just drop down from the roof to the second floor balcony. Then you can jump into the window and just walk down the stairs for a chest. But if you don't see a weapon on the roof, land at the RV in the back, get the chest and some masks, then proceed to hit up the factory. And look, based on our game so far, you're probably going to be immediately fighting players or henchmen. This place is just tiny, so fights tend to, you know, go down off the bat here, but not entirely a bad thing to be fighting, especially henchmen, since they have a very high chance of dropping a P90. But once you're done with the factory, guys, go outside to the front and just hit up the big purple metal container. There's a single chest and a ton of produce boxes that you can just open if you need a quick heal. Now, at this point, if you haven't seen Kit, he's likely across the street on the second floor of the gas station. We've noticed he tends to either hang out there or just roam around by the factory. If you ever spot him near the factory, just eliminate him if you can since the vault is next to you. But again, be cautious of real players. There's always going to be someone pushing you if they notice you're fighting, all right? Or they're going to be waiting to flank you when you open the vault. But if Kit's not at the factory, then he's at the gas station. And depending on if anyone landed there, they might have already gone and killed them. So, you know, if you think that's the case, you should just go and fight them one-on-one. -on -one. But I suggest setting up a flank. Farm and loot what you can, then get up on the factory roof and just get ready to beam whoever comes to open the vault. That way you can secure the vault loot, the mythics, and win Caddy Corner with no problems. Sounds like a dream. Look, with how tiny this place is, there really isn't too much looting you're going to be doing. It's mostly fighting, to be honest. If hectic off spawn fires aren't really your thing, I get it. I probably wouldn't land here at all, all right? But if that's the type of environment you thrive in, yo, this spot is golden. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen Lowe. Hey, this is going to be an exciting season. Take advantage of it. This is your time to shine, my friends. This is the moment that you've been waiting for, all right? I believe in you guys, and uh, keep going, man. You're going to make it. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed learning these loot paths. Be sure to drop a like on the video and check to see if you're subscribed. If you're not, what are you waiting for? You got to do that immediately. We've got a lot more amazing Season 3 content coming, so make sure you don't miss out. Peace.